It's a program a lot of people get involved in at an early age. Boy Scouts of America it has been around and impacting young lives across the nation, right? Few people, though, make it to the level of our next guest. Brian Montgomery is on his way to becoming an Eagle Scout, and he's currently working on a really cool project to make it happen. Brian, my friend, welcome to the show. Hey. Huge congratulations, I just want to say so far, because this is a big deal, right? You're almost at the Eagle Scout level, and we cannot wait to hear about your latest project. Let's first chat, though, again, how long have you been in this program? You know, I think a lot of young people start out in it, but few people make it to this level uh, and just tell us a little bit about your journey how you got to the point you are now uh, I started Boy Scouts in March 2019 and I wanted something new to do in my life to um, hang out with people my age yeah yeah and well, I know it's a really cool opportunity to get to do that. And so let's yeah. talk about what you're working on right now. I hear you got a really cool project in yeah. light of Nurses Week going on right now, right? Tell us what you're up to. So I'm trying to serve nurses for Nurses Week, Monday, Monday the 9th, yeah, becoming 9th. I will serve nurses because they help us get better and... Yeah. Very much so. We know that they are heroes here in our area. So let's chat. you got a, a project that you're working on, right? So we know that you want to honor nurses. It's a really important cause. What exactly does your project look like, and how are you working to make that happen here? Well, I'm serving the nurses food. Well, I've got people like to donate food and money to help me buy the stuff I need to serve them. And awesome. we're going to serve at Huntsville Hospital in the break room. Awesome. Yeah. Wow, talk to me about some of the experience you've had there, especially we know in recent years, nurses have been hard at work. I mean, they always have, but we really know uh, probably since 2021, we know that they've been, again, really giving back in big ways. What are some moments that you've had there at the hospital that have been really meaningful? Well, when, well my aunt Stacy Langford, she works there, and when my grandpa and my grandma were sick there, I saw them like working hard to take care of us, yeah. so I wanted to return the favor. Yeah. yeah. How are you doing with that too? I mean, it's a, I grew up kind of working in a hospital a little bit from a volunteer standpoint, and it can be tough. Any kind of again feelings that you're feeling there, being there, seeing the hard work that these people put in, how does that inspire you, if at all? Well, because it like giving back to the community, like helping us, like we can't help ourselves. Yeah. And help us in need. Yeah, I'm more grateful that you do that as well. In many ways, as a Boy Scout, soon to be Eagle Scout. Let's talk a little bit too about this program. You got some badges. You want to show off some of the badges you're wearing there? Tell us what all we're looking at. Oh yeah, well I got three of my favorite ones: emergency preparedness, wow, um, photography, and physical fitness. Those are so cool. I don't know how to do any. I don't. I don't think I'm terribly emergency prepared. You know, and I feel like can you like start a fire with sticks and flint, probably. Yeah, you know, flint all that? steel. Yeah, I can do that. Of course, again, because he's Brian Montgomery and he's fabulous. Um, so let's chat. What's next for you, Brian? Again, what is uh you know ahead as you make your way to becoming an Eagle Scout and kind of what's the end goal for you? You got you working toward a career of some sort? Well, I'm working toward becoming a mechanical engineer, awesome. and also try to go to TSU maybe, awesome. to uh, for college. Yeah. Well, Brian, we cannot wait to see you continue to succeed. Big question now, again, you're part of Troop 102, is that right? Yeah. Tell us where we can keep up with you. I think you got some online resources. You still selling popcorn and all that, too. Yes, uh, we, you can keep us, keep, a, keep us, keep up with us at FNBC, First Missionary Baptist Church, awesome. Blue Spring Road. Okay, yeah. and we'll have that details uh, on tvliving.com as well. Brian, thanks for coming on. We know that you are working really hard in this area, inspiring other young kids to do the same, and, and we appreciate the time. Wish you all the best. Thank you. Thanks, my friend.